Okay, we're back in the bench. It's the rusty Icom 735. Here's my tuning control. You can see I can uh, I can move up and down the band. And uh, the noise here is pretty horrible. You can see I'm at about S5 with uh, no preamp on. And I'm looking at the RBN and I don't see anybody nearby at 7042. And we will try QRL and see what we get. We're set, I think, to about six watts. And let's see, we need Vox on for that. Uh-oh, and that's not six watts. I guess that moved when I brought up the, uh, <laughs> when I put the case on. We'll do that one more time. And I'm just going to touch up the tuner just a sec here. All right, that's perfect. I think full break-in in this case might be a little annoying since there's so much noise. So we're going to turn that off. We'll try a CQ. And my usual station when I start messing around on 40 is about 11 miles away in Palo Alto. So we'll see if we put ourselves in here. And hit done. There is us. <laughs> All right. So we got spotted by a VE6, even without the filter. So that's kind of cool. That was 1,200 miles. So I'll hit uh, done. That should filter it. Why doesn't that work? It's supposed to be only people that spot me. Let's see what happened. Oh, there we are. All right, so there's our spots. We got a WA7 N6TV, about 15 miles and 1217 and 472. So there's our map. So we made it to Canada and it seems to be that favorite place is St. George. So I'd say that the rusty icon is on the air. If only somebody would call us back, we'll try that again. By the way, we're using the MFJ Deluxe electronic keyer, uh, a guitar cord because everybody uses quarter inch cables and an adapter and uh, we're in pretty good shape here. We have a little pass band tuning to get this narrowed down. Let's see if we get any more new spots. Oh, we have too much of a time limit set here. We got two new ones. 
Oh, we have two that are from, or three that are from two days ago. So let's let's change uh, the max age, <laughs> not to ten, 10 years. Let's change it to uh, 10 hours. That might be better. <laughs> All right, so there's our two, VE6JY and N6TV. But we did get 1,217 miles with the rusty, rusty icon. And we still have our fine looking map there, so that's pretty good. And my information is that the RBN needs to hear your call three times before they'll spot you. So that's why we did a few calls during the CQ. Let's see what we got. Still only two, three minutes ago. So no, nobody's heard anything new. The N6 TV one is pretty funny. That's, uh, like I say, just up the peninsula so that's uh, a big 15 mile away spot Need a few knobs, need a front tuning dial. I did get the cord in the mail, so we're gonna try a remote control with logging software if we don't get the IR receiver in tomorrow to put the dial back together. And even if we don't, I think I'm gonna swap one of the receivers to the other position and see if we can get that diagnosed for, for, a, for sure diagnosis. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'm getting bored. I think the uh, the noise is too high, and uh, even if somebody was calling me, I probably wouldn't hear them. So anyway, we're going to say the rusty icons on the air, and we'll try with better conditions later. Oh, and it does answer the question I got, is your S-meter broken? So tonight, with uh, S5 noise, it's definitely not broken. So thanks for watching. See ya.